Hi, good day, and welcome to another episode of QuickBooks Online Training brought to you by CF Ohio. Today we'll be covering the real estate agency and the scenarios related to the special transactions that this industry experiences. So, as an introduction, I am Asad Patel and I run my own practice called CFO Hire and we specialize in QuickBooks Online Setup to help businesses scale and create internal controls in the accounting system. So we believe in empowering the business owner and all the staff that works within the business. I am a registered accountant and today's training will be specifically for real estate agencies. Working as a real estate agent myself for a time being for about a year and a half, I completed my internship so I'm very well aware of the challenges and the reports and also the internal controls that goes into a real estate agent. So the three main aspects that we'll be covering today will be the sales function. That's all the invoices that you'll be sending out to your attorneys. The second part is the expenditure function. This will relate to all the payments that you will be making to your agents. And the third one we'll touch very briefly is the expenditure on your general costs. And this will mainly be done and performed by the bookkeeper. Now, just a word of caution before I start. This training is based on slides and for those who have attended the live training, they will really understand this type of summary, if I can call it that. However, if you've not seen the QuickBooks Online training and you've not been to a live training, I do suggest that you look out for the video on my CFO Hire YouTube channel, which is detailed as QuickBooks Online Live Training Real Estate Agent. Having that video and watching this summary, you will be well prepared in performing your own administrative duties on QuickBooks Online. Now for lesson one, I will be covering the whole process related to the income side of the real estate agent. I will touch on the three main documents and also speaking about how important the quote is. What you should take note of is when each document should be used. So starting off, when logging into your QuickBooks Online account, and just as a reminder, your QuickBooks Online account is actually on the internet. It's a cloud-based accounting program, so it's not saved on your desktop. So you'll go on to your browser. We do prefer Chrome and we always recommend Chrome to all our users. So when you go into your browser, you'll click on www.quickbooks.coza. When going onto that website, it will give you the option of signing into your account on the top right hand corner. When logging in, you will see that you've got a few options on the top. And the first one or the main one that we'll be using is the plus function. Now the plus function, as explained in the live training, allows you to create a document on the fly. It's the easiest way to create a document. And the two main functions you'll be using as being an administrator is using the customer model. As you can find here on here with my mouse is this customer model. And the other model is the supplier model, which is based on the expenses. So on lesson one, we are focusing on the customers, the sales model. Now the three main documents we'll be using in the sales model 
is firstly the quote. Secondly, we'll convert that quote into an invoice when we send the invoice to the attorneys for payment. And thirdly, it's the receive payment when we actually receive the payment from the attorneys. Now, what's important to take note of is when these documents will be used. So the quote will be raised or the quote will be captured when the agency believes that the offer to purchase is live. They believe this one is now going to come through to the agent. And this happens when all the suspensive conditions are met in the offer to purchase and either the bond is approved or if it's a cash offer, the cash is deposited in the account. When this happens, generally we can say that there is a deal. And when this happens, we will then create the quote because we are basically telling our accounting system that we were, are expecting payment soon. We just have to go through all the other formalities related to the COCs, um, lodging with the deeds office and waiting for the municipal rates clearance to occur. So while we're waiting for all that, we are telling ourselves, we're taking note that, you know what, we, sh we can expect a payment soon. Once the property is ready to lodge or has been lodged or has transferred, whatever agreement you have with your attorney, you will, will then be allowed to send that invoice and claim your commission. Now, you'll be sending that invoice to the attorney and what's important to note is you as an agency will decide what that trigger will be based on your agreement with the attorney. But what's most important when it comes to QuickBooks Online is that every invoice raised must come from a corresponding quote. So you will never send an invoice to an attorney without creating the quote first. That's the most important thing to remember when sending out an invoice. Thirdly, when the payment does come into the agency's account, either the owner will let the administrator know or the owner can decide who will allocate this payment to sh state that the payment has been received and this invoice can now be closed. Next, I'll be talking and showing you what has to be placed on this particular document. So, the most important thing is knowing how the layout of the document and the types of detail you need to put in and the reasons why. Understanding why you need this detail will help you will help will be a great help in knowing what details to put in and the reasons why. So to repeat that, there are certain details that this document requires for it to be effective. And the main reason you're putting in this detail is to allow you to search for documents when it is required, maybe a few months or even a year later. And sometimes deals take long to perform. I mean, it sometimes it takes four to six months, worst case scenario for a property to transfer. I've even heard of 12 months. It's, it's, it's nothing uncommon in the industry. So the more detail you have, it'll be easier for you to track that transaction and also provide details if information is required at a later stage. So the details required when making out the quote, and remember the quote is the first thing that is performed. And a good thing to take note of is once the quote is captured, the invoice can merely be generated automatically from that quote and this information won't necessarily be required to type out a second time. Now, there are three fields that are on top of the quote. The first one is the source, the second one is the commission, and the third one is the agency. Now, the source is the main 
how can I say the main thing that captured this deal, the main thing that brought this deal about. Um, we've put this in a sense of was it from Property 24? Was it a cold call? Was it someone that walked into the offices that required their house to be sold? Or was it the call center? Now, all those types of source of where the information came from will or can affect the commission being paid. So if you have a call center and the call center was the source of the deal, the call center might have a stake in the commission. So that is why we put the source inside. The second one is the commission. Now the commission rate is important because it gives you a guideline of what commission was charged on this particular deal. And the third one will be agency which gives your particular agency the data on which external agency assisted on this deal. So if there was another agency that was assisting on this particular transaction, you will then be able to take note of it and be able to report on it later. And it will give you a good idea of the agencies you most likely work on and it will be able to help you build relationships with those agencies. The next is the who and the who is basically the relevant attorney that you will be invoicing for this payment. The when. Now dates are always important when it comes to accounting and it also is important when it comes to your internal controls. So the first date when it comes to the quote will be the date you make the quote. And the second date which is important is the expected date of transfer. Now you should keep note that when you do make out the quote you do have a date that you expect this particular transaction to transfer and that is important because that will be the date that you expect to convert this quote into an invoice to the relevant attorney and lastly when the invoice is made you will also put an expected payment date of when the payment is due. Now adding these dates will help you with your reporting so that you can tell at the end of each month what expected quotes should be invoiced to the attorney and what invoices which were sent to the attorney should be paid. And this will help you in a great deal with most of your administrative duties. In the middle of your quote you will have a chance to put all the relevant details of that particular transaction. This is discussed in more detail in the QuickBooks online training. But for now, please take note that the most important aspects will always be the amount. Well, that's obviously the amount of commission that's due and the agent who is involved and the type of transaction it is. Is it a sale from a new development? Is it a sale from a house that was transferred or was it commission due due to rental? Once you have all the details inside, you will then attach the relevant documents that your agency believes is necessary. As a standard, I believe the offer to purchase, the FFC of the agency, the banking details of the agency and some FICA documents might be required from your attorney to release payment and I strongly suggest that you attach these to the invoice and to the quote. Now we move on to lesson two and lesson two is all about the expenses we'll be paying to the agent. Now it's obvious that without the agent there will be no agency. So this process documents the process related to the payment we are making to the agents that's working for the agency. Now understanding this cycle is very important because it will help you understand when to use what document. The three documents we'll be speaking about 
in the expenditure side will be the purchase order then the bill and lastly the payment those who have been in a live training will understand that a bill is an immediate term which we call in South Africa supplier invoice so in a nutshell we'll be making out a supply invoice for every amount which is due to an agent I won't be touching on the bridging that is performed by agents I'll be talking about that in much greater detail when doing the QuickBooks online training and for those who have been in the live training they will have a background of how we'll be performing the bridging but I will be sending notes and I will be giving a training where we dive deep into how the different scenarios we'll have in bridging so where do you find these documents once again you will click on the plus on top of your quickbooks online account and you will find the heading suppliers and that's where you will find the three main documents we'll be using related to the payment to agents the first one will be the purchase order the second will be the bill and the third document will be when the bill is paid we call it pay bills now when will each of these documents be captured as we spoke about the customers when the quote is performed when the quote is performed and we expect payment we will then also make out a purchase order because that is the expected payment we will be making to the agent if the deal goes through now performing a purchase order that does not mean that the agent must be paid all it is therefore is to show that it there is a possible payment that the agency might incur this expense to the agent so that again as i said will trigger when the quote is captured what's important to note is when performing the purchase order you will take note of the quote number so that you can understand which quote relates to which purchase order once the deal goes through and you create the invoice and you invoice the attorneys you will then create the bill creating this bill means that you then are liable for the cost to the agent now you can choose to create the bill when the invoice is sent or creating the bill when you actually receive the money from the attorney that's a business decision which the agency will need to make and lastly the most easiest one is the pay bill the pay bill will happen once payment is actually received from the agency so to wrap up we have took note that we know when each trigger in real life will lead to what document and we also have to keep note of the details that's required for the purchase order once again i will go in more detail on the quickbooks online training video but for those who are at the live training they'll understand in summary that the who is important because we know we need to know which agent we have to pay and we also have to know the date that we expect this payment to be made and on the what we have to put in was there any bridging that was done on this particular deal because if there was bridging on this particular deal there will be a bit more capturing required we will also attach the relevant details you you might want to attach the ffc of the agent and if there was bridging you'll need to attach the bridging forms and the various authorizations now coming to general expenses the general expenses are all the expenses related to the agency that is not 
of a personal nature of a particular staff member and does not relate to the agency fees that was paid to agents. This is just your fixed cost related to your normal stationery, your printing, software costs, maybe your property 24 subscriptions and your rental payments. Now this function will be performed by the bookkeeper and we always recommend Receipt Bank and as an Receipt Bank advisor we provide the discounted value to all our clients because Receipt Bank with QuickBooks Online allows the agency to go paperless. Literally all your financial documents will be stored on a cloud which is available from anywhere around the world and it's sorted in an easy to find methodology. Now the bookkeeper will be performing all of these duties but I put this in the training just to make note of what the administrators will perform at, at a branch level. So at a branch level each administrator will be receiving a receipt bank account and they will merely be taking photographs using their cell phone of all the slips that the branch will incur and by taking photos of these slips and just writing some basic details of the branch that the slip is actually allocated to and the brief purpose or background of that expense. This will really help the bookkeeper perform their duties in allocating these expenses correctly. Once again the payments and the allocations will be done by the bookkeeper and there will be separate training related to this. I hope you found this training useful and I hope that the QuickBooks Online system will really help you in your financial administration. Please do look out for future videos on my channel which will be published weekly on YouTube. I can be found on CFO Hire. And please take note and just as a quick friendly reminder that your accounting package is online and can be found on www.quickbooks.coza. If you're new to QuickBooks or you're thinking or you're considering applying or taking out a subscription, I always encourage clients to go on to quickbooks.coza. There's often a discounted 50% discount or 20% discount which QuickBooks gives and or there's also a one month trial that you can test the product before taking it out. If you want an assessment or if you want to be evaluated on your knowledge based on this training video, you're welcome to contact me and we can provide a brief assessment just to gauge on if the understanding is there and if you need additional training on a maybe a aspect or two. And it is a new system and training will always be provided if required. I hope this training has been useful and I wish your agency all the success as you create happy homes for new and existing clients. Thank you.